Hi, and welcome to Crypto Crazy. I'm Cal, and today I'm going to talk to you about Mina. Now, Mina just was released today. It's a coin that has been in the works for quite a while, and I covered it about six weeks ago to tell you that it was going to ICO. So whoever got into that, well done for you, to you because it has gone up around about 13x. Now, I know you're probably thinking there are a lot more out there that go up a considerable amount. However, I do believe this blockchain is undervalued and I'm going to go into a bit of detail as to why I think that. And I think there's a lot more value to be had. Just before I do start that, as always, a quick mention of Stray Token. It's a project that I'm very interested in. I'm going to leave the details below. I'm going to do an update on that on Saturday. I think it's a great project. If you're interested, you can have a look at the details in the description. So let's just get back to Mina. It's available on a number of exchanges. Like I mentioned, listed today, you've got Kraken, OKX, CoinList Pro. CoinList is the platform that assisted with the ICO. And then you've got Bilaxi as well. But as you can see from the volume, the considerable amount is happening on OKX. However, you can get it on these other platforms as well. And they haven't showed that in terms of the increases yet. I, I think one thing to note is people see that this was listed quite high and it comes down and some people think that it should have been up here. You've got to remember when any coin is listed, it's very much up to the individuals at what price they say they want to sell it out and what price people say they want to buy at. So I think there would be people who, who would have bought it up here. However, I think now it is coming to a normal stabilization. And from this point, we can see where it goes. So a bit about the coin. Uh, and, and one thing to mention as well, this is a blockchain. So this is layer one. And what makes this very unique, as you can see from here, it says the world's lightest blockchain powered by, by participants. So what does that mean? A normal blockchain will keep on growing and it's quite substantial in size. And for all those years that it is up and running, there will be more data that is added to it. Whereas Mina remains the same. It's only 22 kilobytes. And that's actually a very, very light amount. And it's powered by participants. So Again, what does that mean? There are multiple nodes. So the information is held in all of these nodes. It's truly decentralized. And for that reason, because it's held in these nodes, it's not held entirely in the same way that it would be on other blockchains. It can bring it in and then reduce again to the amount. And just to kind of show you what that is, 22 KB is the size of a couple of tweets. So that is very, very light. And as it mentions here, participants can quickly sync and verify the network. And that's how it works with all of these nodes. And you can see here as well, in terms of the size, that's an incredible amount when it goes into gigabytes and it keeps on adding and adding to it as well. So in terms of the features, easily accessible. Yes, of course, uh, even though there are various nodes that are run, the information is always available as well truly decentralized because of that as well, because every user is acting as a full node, which again is an incredible way of doing it. And also they have proof of stake consensus, which is obviously a better way of having proof. There are some of the old blockchains that take a lot of power to do so, to to, to be able to prove as well. And then obviously there, ha there have been environmental concerns about that as well. DApps, can be built on top of this. And there are some that are already using it and they have the Snark Power Decentralized app, Snaps. And so that is Mina's very own layer two on top of that, that you can use to build. And it is something that there are projects out there that are already beginning to use it. One thing to know about this as well is that this isn't brand new. Some people do think that it is just coming out now, it's getting launched, it must be brand new. No, Mina has been working on this, on this blockchain, on this technology for around about three years now. So it takes some time, certainly, 
for blockchains and to make it of this type of technology. And like I mentioned, with their snaps on top of that as well. So it has been in the works for a while, which is why when these coins do come to market, that they can have a much higher market cap. But then also one thing to remember that this market cap can get a lot larger for a blockchain. A coin being ranked at 223, I think is very low, especially when it has something as unique as Mina as well. A private gateway into the real world. This is just talking about the, uh, the, the, the scope and the utility as well is not limited because other blockchains they may be but here you can interact, as it mentions here, with any website and access verified real world data for on use on chain as well. Again, amazing things. If you wish to create any sort of application on there, you need to access data or or other blockchains or websites as well. There won't won't be any restriction to that. And 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 it's mentions here powered by a growing community. And and I think that's the one great thing about most blockchains or, or any coins tokens as well that the community really do push it there are projects that are being made on it as well and obviously people get behind it as well to promote it so as as a blockchain as a technology it is very interesting i think as they now are live the mainnet is live they will continue to have more projects building on there to have more partnerships as well especially for real world use and we're seeing that with a lot of projects now as well in terms of the community and, and what's going on they've been obviously very focused on announcing that they are listing which they've done now as well uh, they they have a substantial number of followers but generally that's probably more interesting in the smaller coins when they're trying to build and it's very much down to the community obviously the community is behind this as well but i think the the technology here is what makes the difference and what we're going to be interested in as well and i always try to keep an eye on these type of projects or any projects that i'm interested in is what partnerships are they creating what how are they working with other organizations any companies in the real world to help them solve the problems that they have with the technology that they have as Mina. So there you go. Like I mentioned, I covered this about six weeks ago. The channel was a lot smaller then. So hopefully this is going out to a lot more people and it's just been launched as well. So I imagine there's a lot of people out there who are wondering where this, what this is and where it could go. And like I mentioned as well, in terms of the size, when we're looking at at the moment, the market cap is less than half a billion and we just go down here and we have a look at some of these other coins as well and especially when it's black blockchain technology and you look at the size in terms of market cap as well and we have a look at the top 50 and it's at 2 billion so i think this is certainly one and it may not happen straight away but certainly one which can work its way up the ranks and be one of the major players in terms of uh, crypto crypto organization project blockchain so i think it certainly has a great amount of potential to grow but like i mentioned it can take time sometimes these things can take a few years and we've seen that in even the big coins as well ethereum a few years ago was was less than 10 percent of this value uh, even much smaller right? i remember back in 2017 it was in double digits and now look at it it's it's uh, worth thousands so something to always bear in mind now i hope you found this useful i hope you found this interesting if you have please do consider give me a like it always does help the channel please do consider subscribing do bring out a wide range of videos uh, if you do like to find new projects projects that will go up in value that i believe will go up in value more information as well and even medium size as well that i think can have value in terms of increase then to consider subscribing but there you go that's mina for today the world's largest lightest blockchain i'm cal this is crypto crazy and i'll see you in the next one bye